So we launched the product from our dorm room. We got a beta up and we launched the beta and we emailed everybody we knew. This was a pay only service at the time. It was $2.99 for a gigabyte of free space. Go to archive.org and you can kind of look at the initial versions of our website and the product. And uh, we had just launched a site and it worked, right? We, we emailed all these bloggers, all of the press, all of our friends, everybody we could get our hands on. And it turned out people signed up um, and people wanted to use. Uh, really cheap, cost-effective space on the internet. We had built a product that made sense, and it was just took a couple months. Uh, we launched it from our dorm room, and uh, and it started picking up. And we decided, well, maybe now we should go through the process that a lot of companies uh, 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 that we had heard of kind of went through, which is we need to finance more growth in the organization. So we need to get more users, and we need to be able to uh, enable more people to find out about us. And often that takes money. Now. Keep in mind, we're, we're, uh, at this time, we're 19 and we're 20 years old. And so it's a little bit difficult to raise venture capital when your co-founder looks like this. <laughs> so that was, that's my uh, uh, CFO and, and co-founder, Dylan Smith. Um, and he was our CFO, right? So you had to trust this guy with your money. Um, and uh, it's, it, it's sort of hard to, uh, to trust somebody who looks like they're going to run off to Disneyland with the, uh, with the, with the proceeds. But, but there was one guy where this did fit in really well for. His name is Mark Cuban. And uh, we emailed Mark Cuban. We just sent a cold email. And we said, hey, we got this really cool product. Maybe you'd like it. Maybe you could write about it on your blog. And it turned out he was really interested. He, too, believed that you should be able to share your data online, that you should be able to share and manage your information in the cloud. And so he wrote a check for us. And, uh, and that was it. And, uh, and he invested in us while we were still in college. And we decided to really kind of grow a box. The problem is we couldn't focus on school and work. Um, it's really not uh, great customer support when you're answering customers in accounting class. And so that was, that was the challenge that we were facing. We really wanted to grow. We wanted to be the, the best sort of customer-driven company that was out there. A lot of the companies that came prior started to have really weak products. They started not listening to customers. They started not supporting customers. And we had to be different. And we couldn't do this while also in school. So we looked at three main factors about maybe why, why, why should we leave school? What, what, uh, how does one kind of make the decision to kind of take that leap? The first was there was just less upside. So if we looked... Um, and uh, if we looked at what it's going to be to, to uh, what it's going to take for us to stay in class and stay pay, uh, pay attention when we felt like we had this really cool, cool thing, the upside in, in doing it and going on our own um, was way higher. We just felt that if this worked out in both situations, we would be way better off if we just went for it. The second was we thought we had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We realized that everything was going to move to the web. We, we had a computing opportunity that, that had never really happened, uh, never come fully to kind of fruition, and, uh, and we thought that this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Someone's going to do it. We can either be a part of that or not, and we decided to go for it, and, and we had a lot of conviction in that. And frankly, realistically, no one else would hire me, right? So um, I, I just knew that, that you know, I, I, it was going to be way harder in the job market if, if I just didn't go off and, and start my own thing.